Good morning. Ow. Happy Monday. Um, it's my birthday week. I'm so excited. I thought I would do another week in the life just because it's gonna be a fun week. We're doing 100th day of school today. There's Valentine's Day stuff going on. And it's my birthday week, which is a great week. I just finished a workout. Love that. And I'm gonna go shower and get ready and we'll chat some more, but it's gonna be a great week. easy creation stations ready for the week so we are working on simple complex and compound sentences and I switch out the activities for their small groups at the beginning of every week and I would love to say that they're always like profoundly creative but sometimes you just take a worksheet you make it a little more active and they're perfectly happy so this um, This uh, week, it's just gonna be a sorting activity. I'll link the worksheet that I got below. It's from TPT. And I just taped, I cut out the title, I taped it on, and then I am just putting each of those in there. And then there's a bunch of sentences and they will just stack them. Good morning. Good morning. about 20 minutes left of my plan because I was making copies and getting stuff ready from my sub plans, which I'm very excited. I'm in second grade again today and we are celebrating the 100th day of school. So they get to do a 100th day of school writing activity. And then they are doing some like phonics work. It's library day, which is always really exciting. And it's gonna be a really good day. So I just went ahead and made my slides for this class so that they know what they're working on and then um, make copies of everything that the lead teacher left and ready to go. I am <laughs> super hungry today and I didn't bring a snack, so I might go scrounge around for food for a little while. Usually I try and like get stuff done on my plan, um, but I only have 20 minutes left uh, because I was making copies and things. And I, I just don't know if I can make it until like noon for lunch because it's only 10 o'clock. That's okay. Um, I tried a new like braided hairstyle today and I really like it. And I like my little pencil earrings, very teacher-esque today. Um, I just think it's gonna be a good day. I'll see if I can show any of the like 100th day of school writings obviously no faces, no names. Um, maybe I'll show my sample, but very cute, very excited. And I will catch up with you guys at lunch. Hello, it is the afternoon. I just got home. I am hanging out with the sir. And I just wanted to pop in and do a little catch up 
for the rest of the day. I didn't get a chance to talk during lunch because I was um, with some other students. So we did our 100th day of school writing activity where they told me what their life would be like when they were 100, which was really sweet. And we watched some science videos on the Arctic and that is day one of subbing done. Um, super excited and that is mostly it for my day today. I'm probably gonna do some homework and then I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. just got done with a workout and showered, got partially ready. I still have to do my hair and my makeup, um, but today's a really exciting day because I am going out to a birthday dinner with my friends tonight and I'm really excited. So I wanted something cozy because I'm going straight from school and I just like this. It's almost Valentine's Day and it's pink and it's cute. So today is my last day of subbing for the week. I always like Tuesdays, they're always really fun. And yeah, just gonna eat breakfast, maybe watch some YouTube videos and get on with my day and drink my greens. Hi, it's my plane period, but I'm about to have a meeting. So I don't have a ton of time to talk, but I'm in kindergarten today. They're the cutest little kids. I really love it which is very surprising. I did not think I would like kindergarten. But that's where we're at. They love my stars and my little pom-poms. It's a great life. Hello, you're balanced on some markers, so it's not like the greatest view ever, but it is my lunch period. We just did um, like dramatic playtime, which was really fun. Um, and we did letter recognition and phonics. Sorry, um, a lovely teacher who helped me um, with a student today came in and we were just chatting about it. Anyway, um, I have had a really great day. I've never subbed kindergarten before. This is my last grade before I have subbed every grade in the school. And it's just been like the loveliest day um we did phonics work and it's just been really fun um they're a really good class and yeah yeah that's it um I will check in with you guys I'm going to Target right after work and then I'm going to my birthday dinner so I'll check in with you guys then good morning happy Wednesday um I didn't really film anything yesterday because I went out with my friends for birthday dinner and it was fun, but we were like at a restaurant and what am I gonna do? But I did get a some Target stuff and some Scholastic stuff yesterday that I'll do a haul for this afternoon. And today I am back with my fourth graders. My lead teacher is out at a training day, so I am lead teaching solo, which I don't get to do very often. And I'm excited about that. We're publishing today their realistic fiction little books. And yeah, I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a good day. I won't be able to talk to you during plan because I'm covering a class during plan. But I will catch up with you this afternoon because I'm gonna do that haul for you guys. And that's all I got right now. Um, we're in my Arkansas. Oh my God, I almost just fell and died. We're in my Arkansas because we beat Auburn last night, which is super exciting. And it's college day on Wednesdays at school, so we can wear jeans and college gear. So I might check in with you at lunch or I don't know. I don't know when I'll check in with you next, maybe at home. Happy Wednesday. Hello. Okay, it's after school. 
on Wednesday. I didn't get a chance to catch up with you guys during plan. Um, and today was just a really long day. Um, the students were very high energy and feeling some type of way. And so it was, I think it was just a very like challenging day for them. Um, but I came home, I actually have a bunch of packages that are on my porch, but I'm forbidden from opening any of them in case they are birthday presents. So instead, I am going to show you guys what I got yesterday at Target and what I got from a Scholastic order. So I'm going to start with Target because it's less exciting. Okay, so I got my favorite ink dry pens or paper mate pens. These are amazing and I like that they click. I know that's very particular, but ink dry pens. I got the Target Dollar Spot had band-aids, which is nice. I'm putting together like a care station and band-aids is one of the things I want in there. So they have Crayola band-aids. So they look like little crayons. And then I got some Pokemon ones and some Builder ones. Then I got, I was really excited when I found these because I was planning on making a creation station that had um, like tongue depressor popsicle sticks, like that size, um, and like hot gluing Velcro dots to them and then putting them all together. They have notched popsicle sticks. So they're called craft sticks, but you can build with these. So this is probably just gonna be a creation station. And this was only like a dollar fifty or something, which is great. Bang for your buck. I, I got some gummy worms. That's just for me. And then the Target Dollar Spot had the loveliest things. They are these four like stem. They are almost like creation stations in them of them in it of themselves. Four types of, what are they called? They're like magnets and learning pamphlet things for different topics. So there's a dinosaur species one, an environmental science and ecosystems one, a bug science one, and a sharks of the world one. These were each $1.50. I got one of each of them. I'm going to open this one to show you what's in So they're like a tin and then you open it up. It's on a hinge so they're never going to lose the top, which we love. Obviously, since it's a tin, it's magnetic. And it has magnets and informational cards in it. So these are the informational cards and it has like about recycling, ecology and ecosystems, environmental scientists, environmental science, things like that. And then it has these really cool magnets that are like parts of that ecosystem. So it has a frog life, set, life cycle in here, which is really cool. And then it has a bunch of like reuse, reduce, recycle magnets. I was just really impressed for something so inexpensive to be very neat. And I do like that you can use them. Like they can almost make little tiny dioramas in there. Um, which is very cool. And then they just close back up. They are ready-made creation stations. They are ready-made activities. And different kids can use them different times. Which is super exciting. So that's all I got from Target. Again, always and forever mostly creation stations. That's what I'm very stuck on right now. And now it's Scholastic Order. So I did a, what is it? Like a book drive back in December for books for my students so I could get them, all of them, um, a new book every month so that they could take home and have books that are their own that they can read that have to do with their 
interest in things and <clears throat> oh and I was really lucky a lot of my family and friends donated money to that campaign and raised a bunch of money like I don't like the way I said that um, and I was really lucky. I had family and friends donate to that campaign. They were very generous. And I wound up having some money left over on Scholastic after I had bought all of their books through the end of the school year. So I took that money and I bought a couple things on Scholastic. Everything I can link, I will below. Um, okay, so the first thing I got was these sticky situation cards, 180 discussion prompts that encourage dialogue, debate, and critical thinking. I really love stuff like this because it's social emotional learning and it does address to core competencies in social emotional learning. It says the topics include friendship, family, schoolwork, bullying, personal values, and more. So it's very cool. There are just cards and they have a scenario and a little picture and then just some discussion questions on them. It says grades four through six. I feel like a lot of these are gonna be applicable um, even if it requires like a little bit of editing or changing for a lot of different grades. Um, so that's super exciting. Then I got a learning puzzle classifying set. So I liked this for a couple of reasons. One, I think puzzles are really great for teaching critical thinking and problem solving skills. And I know it says pre-K to one, a hundred percent my fourth graders could do this and would enjoy it. So obviously you know your students best, but like don't let you know this be law. Um, and it has a bunch of different um, like key practice skills. So identifying, classifying, recognizing similarities and differences, um, like searching for details, things like that. It has 10 two-sided self-checking puzzles. So 20 different puzzles um, and an activity guide. I really like this. I think this is a really cool game. Then I got, so Scholastic makes these success with series so they have success they have a lot they have success with writing success with reading comprehension success with math math i got grades one through five of reading comprehension and one through five of math and these are worksheet books so if you're a new teacher like me i didn't know these existed they are little booklets and inside are just bunches of worksheets that work on different skills. And they have the like the skill up at the top. They also have an index. They have answer keys. And you can just use these to make copies. It's essentially a set of masters. So each book has 48 pages. And obviously they go up in rigor and skills like based on the grade. And these are brand new. They came out two weeks ago they were released so these are the updated versions so i got one through five for reading comprehension and grades one through five for math which i'm super excited about i obviously will be teaching like a specific grade level but i like this because it allows for variation if i have a high student or a low student i'm going to be very excited to be able to work on those competencies with them um instead of like constantly trying to look for things like if i'm getting a worksheet i can just look at all the different grades so that was really cool so i got the full set of math and um reading comprehension and this is what i'm most excited about that i got from sorry and this is what I'm most excited about that I got from Scholastic. This is a super science mystery kit. So I love Velcro, first of all. This is a bunch of science mysteries. So you get this, it's a folder, it's a science experiment and investigation all in one. Um, this is the back so they can like copy the questions on to a piece of notebook paper. It tells you the supplies you'll need for the experiment. 
And then on the front, it tells you kind of what you're learning about. So this one's about water striders and how they're able to walk on water. Um, they have a ton of them. This I think is a pack of 20 or 24. This one is the difference between hard and soft water and how it affects soap lather. It's just freaking cool. I love stuff like this that really encourages creative thinking, hands-on learning. Um, kids like being sleuths and I like having like fun activities for them. They learn better when they're playing and investigating and doing these things. And that is my little haul from Target and Scholastic. Tomorrow, um, it's my last day teaching of the week. We are doing, we're starting reviewing and remediation for this unit. So I've never done that before. I'm really excited. Um, we're going to start like more formative tracking and yeah, I will jump on with you guys in the morning. I don't know if I'll film anything else tonight. If the packages that we got are school stuff, maybe I'll jump back on. But if it's like birthday stuff and wedding stuff, I probably will not film it. Um, Cause I'm gonna put my phone up and just read for a little while and drink my cherry limeade. So I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is officially Sunday, so the day this vlog is going up, and I just wanted to give a little recap for um, the end of this week. I didn't film at all on Friday. We had an all-day diversity and equity seminar, and so we were like very busy in seminar, and I didn't feel right filming those conversations um, or really any part of it, because obviously like they didn't decide to put their lives on YouTube. Um, but it was really good. And then yesterday was my birthday. So I spent a whole day with my wife. She had a whole day of surprises. It was a perfect birthday. It was really exceptional. Um, and I just spent the day with her and obviously like was present in those moments and not filming. So, and I just wanted to wrap up this vlog. So thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, like this video, hit the bell for notifications and I will see you all next week.